Hello there Sagittarius and welcome to your oracle messages for whenever you guys get this video and it resonates for your situation regardless of the date or time. Keep in mind Sagittarius it is a general reading so if you guys find the messages don't resonate for you at all check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs or feel free to check out the past oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings those are all timeless. <clears throat> you guys are rising up in your situation for sure. Uh, so what you guys need to know is, wow, there's a situation where you guys are absolutely gaining something substantial in your life. Uh, there's definitely a sense of quality work in whatever you guys are pursuing or focused on. <clears throat> or for some of you guys, it's definitely your, you know, your career path here, what you guys do for work. Um, yeah, I want to say that Spirit is letting you guys know what you guys need to know about your situation is there is this full mastery, um, an accomplishment, big dreams, big, big business ideas and plans going well for a lot of you Sagittarius. Um, and there's a situation where Spirit is saying maybe for some it's time to, I don't know, like revel in your achievements, revel in your success maybe revel in some opulence or the attitude of opulence because you guys are really headed towards a very um, substantial, sustaining, stable life for you, okay? Uh, the King of Pentacles is a very accomplished, masterful <clears throat> energy here. So I am seeing commitment towards business ideas, business plans, or towards something that you guys are really focused on, okay? Now... The other thing that I am seeing here too is an opportunity or a situation for some of you guys when it comes to um, something significant in your life. It could be love or it could just be what you guys do for work and possibly uh, committing to someone here, okay? Um, and working towards, um, I don't know, just more great um, abundance, wealth, prosperity, support, stability, constancy, okay? So you guys really are um, rising up from your situation. And yeah, I'm seeing something about you guys enjoying something here with others. Um, maybe for some, if you guys have been feeling like you've been working hard, there's this opportunity coming your way. Now, somebody is going to offer something to you or show you a way, a new experience of enjoying others. A lot of you guys are calling forth a new soul group or soul family or <clears throat> romance and dating with someone here that is very mature, level-headed, works hard, male or female, doesn't matter. Three of Cups is showing up. Um, Earth sign is showing up here, Sagittarius. So uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, and I do feel that you Sagittarius out there have a good mixture of water and Earth sign in your chart. <clears throat> this is why you guys are really... Um, learning this beautiful alchemy uh, situation with yourselves and really mastering something here when it comes to creating great wealth, power, um, great business plans and ideas really going well. Um, and also I'm seeing something about commitment with a partner here. Um, and, you know, I just noticed like, this looks like a couple with a child here. So I definitely see something about family as well. Okay. And bonding. What else for uh, Sagittarius? I do feel some of you guys may need to, um, you know, uh, not get, not get like lazy off your work or disown your work or abandon your work, but take a little time or take some, uh, get more for some of you guys just need to hear this, get a little bit more, you know, rise up from your earthly matters and, and do things that are more, um, in tune with bringing you joy now. Cause I feel that you guys just need to know whatever you guys are doing and pursuing, it's going to last for you, okay? Um, and also there's a person here too that I, I feel is very strong uh, that will last uh, with you as well for those seeking some type of partnership in that. <clears throat> I do see dating or getting to know someone here, um, but they do feel like a soul um, family. What else for Sagittarius? Oh, yeah, you guys are having the synchronistic things lining up. You guys need to expect some type of delivery here. Some of you guys might be, okay, I just, I this won't, okay. 
There's just this thing for some of you guys, some type of new life, new beginning being delivered to you. Okay, so take it how it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, either way, I'm, I'm sensing some type of um, coming into a new beginning where you guys um, are going to be celebrating and have a lot of joy and happiness. So there may be something here with looking out for um, special clovers, four leaf clovers, but things are really lining up for you. Uh, sick, there's something in your environment. Um, pay attention to these synchronicities. Um, and things popping up here. There's some type of special delivery here when it comes to a wish fulfillment or something that is definitely going to be what seems like a dream come true, a wish fulfillment, because it is uh, definitely um, part of your destiny here, okay? What else? You know what that's very interesting and i should have said it king of cups i actually see the queen of cups over here in the corner of the uh, stork card i was going to say something about queen of cups um <clears throat> opportunity and expansion of love opportunity of big accomplishments when it comes to intuitive skills counseling skills aiding and helping others some of you guys definitely have a um, a skill in delivering messages that um, help inspire heal um, in some way, shape, or form, but I, I just see something here of love, and some of you guys are going to get a special delivery of a person here. Um, for some of you guys, if that resonates, because I feel this is part of your destiny, something that, that you've been wishing. Um, so there may be something here. Oh, some of you guys, okay, so some of you Sagittarius, take this if it resonates. There may be something here with some of you actually taking time to focus if you guys, it's one or the other. Either some of you Sagittarius have been working um, a lot and just staying focused and maybe now you're trying to, you know, it's time to rise up from earthly matters and get into your heart space and do things that are um, going to fill your heart up a little bit here or expand your heart more. And, and, um, and then some of you guys, if you've been doing a lot of playing around and too much fun and joy, you may need to just get focused, you know, or take a little time out and make sure that you guys are building some type of boundaries <clears throat> in space here to really focus on the things in life that give you guys the best um, feeling of achievement, um, you know, that that helps you guys rise up because a lot of you guys are going towards something is definitely going to bring you a sense of gratitude, blessings, and peace when it comes to the mind and a heart and your heart and, and, and your sense of security here. So, um, Again, with big time accomplishments for a lot of you Sagittarius and what you guys are pursuing, but also there's some type of, <laughs> there's some th type of delivery here of some person here or um, a situation rising up into love for some, I mean, so there's just something about love here. Okay. So some of you guys are opening up to a new partner here, a new love. Some of you guys, there's something about, um, um, you know, more, um, effort and work towards really uh, building something that is substantial with the heart um, and security here with someone, okay? And then I feel like we need to look at this card as well. <laughs> Eight of Wands, yeah. There's going to be passion. So I feel like some of you guys do need to just kind of make room and prepare yourself. I feel that you guys are definitely coming in to situations where you're going to have um, people or a person here that's definitely going to resonate with you that's uh, definitely lined up for you that is a significant partner in some way shape or form okay so expect um, things to get busy expect opportunities some of you guys expect to fall in love or an expansion in love and spirit is really helping you guys because i kept noticing this bird here with the uh, king of cups so i just feel that there's this there's this person that is being divinely guided to you by listening to themselves listening to messages from spirit being in tuned um and this this person is very mature here so this person is definitely um got a lot of love to give here so expect communications um also expect opportunities that you guys weren't expecting here okay so you may feel like a whirlwind of um things going on you guys just need to to trust something here 
you're definitely being spiritually guided and getting um, an ener energy surge from the divine here to help think get things going here, okay? Especially when it comes to pursuing passions, when it comes to communications. For some, there's something here with travels and maybe travels with your work, things lining up to bring you into synchronistic events that really... Um, <laughs> settles any type of fear or um, uncertainty. What else for Sagittarius? Some of you guys could be, um, there could be definitely more than one person involved. Um, and some of you guys may get an offer from more than one person here. Um, so what that offer is, it's going to be something towards you know, uh, something that they can help aid you in. Uh, and again, there's something here with love too. So, <clears throat> and stability. Yeah, you guys are receiving miracles. Here's this clover here. Here's a stork. You guys are receiving, there's some type of special delivery. Spirit Spirit wants you guys to experience some type of special delivery. Um, so, you know, some of you guys just relax, uh, get out of your own way and just allow the receiving of something you guys have been really um, calling forth here. Your soul has, your soul has been resonating uh, for uh, something here that is um, more in line with your passions, your purpose. A lot of you guys too, I mean, I see you guys really mastering something when it comes to being a joy bringer to yourself and others. Um, and you do, you guys do bless the world with positivity and love. See, I'm just seeing you guys getting blessed with um, great success, accomplishments, um, feeling very fulfilled with the things that you guys are doing because, you know, you do bless the world with positivity and love, okay? So you guys are meant to really spread happiness and miracles and thus receive happiness and miracles. So really expect miracles. You guys need to expect miracles okay what else pay attention to also the different birds because i'm seeing the stork i'm seeing the dove and hummingbirds here even seagulls here beautiful you guys are ready to um, establish healthy boundaries rewards and guess what <laughs> there's something that is going to be okay you guys have to know something there is a, a situation happening for you guys that's really going to give you guys a sense of balance i do see you guys coming into or sustaining for some of you guys either sustaining or coming into a great sense of wealth and being able to really give from a full heart with whatever you guys are doing as far as what you guys are focused on as your projects passions purpose work etc etc just be willing to just give with a gracious heart because you guys in return are going to really see a lot of substantial um, increases in your resource, your resources and your money, okay? And there's a situation here that I just love because here we've got the Six of Pentacles. Earth sign is showing up here. So there is something with you guys really um, doing something right. Stay focused on what you guys are doing. Um, but also pay attention to boundaries with your work um, and pleasure and, and get a good, uh, good get a good grip on that because there's something that you guys are supposed to be making room for here, okay? So when you have a lot of changes, just expect that's just what's happening, okay? But what I see is a really great situation when it comes to, um, you know, the Queen of Cups is here. So I, I told you, I saw the Queen of Cups over here. I wish I would have said it. It doesn't matter. She's still here with the King of Cups. And so like right between, we've got this situation here. This is why I want you guys to see. It's like, um, there's a situation with the, the, the Queen of Cups and the six, six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, King of Cups. There's this, um, a very fluid, and open um, situation when it comes to vulnerabilities, um, being emotionally available. It's like, you guys aren't gonna receive any type of cheap love. That's what I can tell you right now. It's not cheap love. Um, and it's not going to make you guys feel drained. Um, there's something about also receiving blessings and gifts and being spoiled 
okay? Because what I see is you guys really being in your power and someone else being in their power. You guys are just really, there's something just very balanced and whole going on here. So make sure though, Sagittarius, what you need to hear. King of Pentacles um, and even the Queen of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles, there's something that I feel that you guys are mastering when it comes to establishing healthy boundaries for yourself so that things don't get out of balance this second time around, okay? Or this opportunity, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are this, this is what I was picking up. You definitely got this King of Cups, uh, Queen of Cups energy going on with that King of Pentacles. Um, so you guys definitely are coming into a sense of self-mastery, being um, fluid, uh, going with the, the currents of life. Um, but this Queen of Cups is a psychic visionary and she's very compassionate and she's radiating. So you guys are receiving a special delivery. Okay. Follow your heart in the situation. I see, um, again, what I was, remember I was talking about soul group here. Um, souls that resonate with you and a special soulmate here. So for those that are seeking a, a special soulmate situation, um, that's definitely here. There's, this is a person, this is real. Okay. And this, this situation with you and your work, I just have to say, just keep the, the flow going. You're going to receive more than enough creative ideas or whatever you guys need to go to keep giving and receiving. But it is time for you guys to receive and be open to receiving more than you thought. Okay. Especially when it comes to matters of the heart. I see real commitment. I see real stability um, and a real sense of bond here. What else for Sagittarius? You know, we have the Three of Cups here and here's three uh, hummingbirds. So yes, hmm. there's definitely a sense of um, not only, it's just like people that are joy bringers because you're a joy bringer deep down in, in your heart here. We have a card that flipped over as I was talking. Oh my, it was miracle. <laughs> you just had this card of miracles here. Look, our wings of light surround you and those you love. That's really interesting because this card actually says um, energy s soars on your shining wings and spread the miracle of happiness here. So you guys are definitely, whether you believe it or not, you guys are definitely seen in, in the eyes of spirit as uh, earth angels, okay? This current situation is governed by a higher power. See, there's some type of special delivery. Remember when I was talking about this with the stork um, and the clover here? There's some type of special delivery because it's part of your destiny. It just has to happen here. So keep your hopes and your faith alive, okay? The forces um, of love are at work. All will turn out well. Are you kidding? Look at this. The forces of love. We got the king and the queen of cups here. What the three of cups? This is love. So the forces of love is at work. It's going to work out well. And what did I say? A lot of you guys, this is a time to stay focused on healthy boundaries. Also, there may be something here with um, staying focused on your physical well-being, whether what's what's important to you, right? Is Because what I'm seeing here is a situation for some of you guys, what's important is some time alone, um, because that's always important. You need that time alone with you and spirit and your higher self um, to really get stay organized and and to you know continue to do your work or whatever you guys are feeling you know is your purpose here whatever, but also you know you implementing some new health ideas or you implement, implementing implementing these health regimens and routines that are good for you you know you you need to keep going with that. Um, don't lose yourself because of, you know, changes and, and, you know, cause sometimes that's what happens. We get, we get so we get head over heels about a situation and then we kind of like, we like lose ourselves and drain ourselves. So, and I think that you guys have learned something in the past here because you guys are showing up as a very boss energy is coming into real good self mastery and also something about you guys really doing something right. Okay. So continue whatever you guys are doing. Um, what else for Sagittarius?
And this is the other thing, you're receiving a special delivery because you guys have been putting the effort and doing work. Now, there's something with communication big time here. So some of you guys, um, st staying focused with your mastery, there may be something here with polishing up or studying, studying your communication skills. So um, you guys really are doing something um, that I feel that you guys need to hear. You are really, whatever you guys are putting your effort into, mastering oneself, personal growth, it's all going to go in your favor. Now, there's something here too, maybe communications, quick communication, um, unexpected news, whatever it is, um, expect the unexpected, all right? Okay. Why do I feel like I want another one with this? I want more with this too, with the cell phone. <clears throat> Some of you, because I feel like she's just waiting for something here and she may need to put that phone down and, and get focus here, okay? Give me a little bit more too with the cell phone. Okay, the queen of wands. Oh my gosh, you guys are evolving and walking away, shaking things up, shaking and moving things up for yourself here. So I do feel that there was something in the past that really got you guys, challenged you guys, but you guys really are going to successfully um, lead the way here. I see you guys just being masterful. Look at Sagittarius, you guys are showing up here, okay? Male or female doesn't matter, queen of wands. You guys really are evolving and mastering something and coming into um, a very magnetic energy here. So I see you guys boldly and confidently really leading your light. Um, there's something about confidence and um, you guys rebuilding or sustaining your confidence here. Look at her, she's holding that sunflower. So there's, there's no stopping you. There's something about you guys really um, going after things um, and receiving exactly what you guys deserve. So the Queen of Wands is polishing up her communication skills. This is so beautiful because you guys really are doing something that's really um, worthwhile. So don't be afraid for some of you guys to really walk away from old situations or things that just aren't fulfilling because I was picking up something here where she's just to me, she's kind of looking at the phone and waiting or do, doing something here. So there may be something here with abandoning something that is not giving back to you, okay? Um, and not being afraid of the moonlight, not being afraid to follow your intuition, to follow your heart. You guys are gonna get your 10 of cups, okay? Uh, what else for Sagittarius? Some of you guys need to abandon um, behaviors or attitude that, um, make you guys question your self-confidence, your powers, and your leadership skills. Um, we have the fox and we have the stars. <sighs> Told you. I was seeing destiny at play here with the stork, and here it is. Destiny is at play. You guys had a, some of you guys just need to hear, some of you guys had a tower moment or a change in destiny. That's what it feels like. Um, from maybe possibly um, an energy or a situation that wasn't fully honest or capable of giving you something that you guys really needed or uh, that was really aligned with you and your destiny here. So um, with this Fox energy too, I am getting a situation about you guys staying really adaptable because remember we got this eight of wands, lots of changes here. You're not going to be prepared. You, this is what I'm telling you guys. You you guys won't be prepared for all of this, but it's okay, right? You've got to follow your heart. You have to listen to yourself. And by the way, if any of you guys are questioning your transformation or how you guys show up in life, this is the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. This is a radiant energy, and so is the Queen of Wands. I mean, there is just something so freaking uh, magnificent about you that you guys are accomplishing and showing up in the world that you guys just need to keep going, seriously. She's gonna get what she wants. So when changes happen, um, don't be afraid uh, to, you know, follow these changes. And I just want to look a little bit too with this uh, fox. Yeah. Um, don't be tempted either. There may be something here that could tempt you guys and you guys need to just be, um, be wary of that because I do feel that there was a situation in the past where some of you guys might have dealt with an energy that was, you know, deceptive, noncommittal or manipulating. Okay. 
but things are changing around for you guys. This is what the stars is doing here. And a lot of you guys, um, there's a star quality about you as well. And you are a miracle. You are a joy bringer. You are a star. What else for Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, tower. Shocking change and oh wow. Wow. So don't block the changes. Okay, here something is going on here. S Spirit's showing me something here. Sagittarius, don't let something lead you the wrong way or someone. Um just just prepare for that. But yeah, I'm seeing you guys there's going to be a shocking change and a revelation when it comes to what's really um, supposed to be on your path and what's destined for you, okay? There may be something here for some of you guys to be aware of um, not getting drained uh, by changes, okay? Um, there is uh, some divine intervention at play big time. I just have to show you this. Remember this message that we got here and the, the Queen of Cups is showing up like basically three times because I said it earlier. But anyhow, let me show you guys. This really is a miracle and a miracle is about to occur here. So don't be afraid of something, okay? Don't be afraid of anything because here, here we got this. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love, look at this, Queen of Cups is the forces of love. So there is definitely a guardian angel that's coming through that's helping you guys in a, in a situation. All will, will turn out well. So here's the higher forces, lightning, shocking changes, shocking revelations, things for some, things falling apart, right? Because I see a situation where you might be giving tower moments to a lot of people or, or people, just a person doesn't matter. You just might, you, you're going to be creating a tower moment here is what I'm getting, or you probably have already. And so you guys need to really believe in this divine intervention and this miracle. So don't block love when love is coming. That's what I'm hearing for some of you guys. Follow your heart in a situation. You have to trust that your intuition and your psychicness and your abilities are really enhanced at this time. Okay, don't get drained from situations. Walk away from draining situations. What else? And I just have to say, there just seems like quite a lot of people here. So <clears throat> there may be a, an elimination of people for some of you guys that just really, um, they just, it, I, I don't want to say eliminate, but they just, they need to be broken off your path here for some of you guys or situations or something or work or whatever. See, I'm just can't even get over this. I can't even get over this reading. You've got a guardian angel that is coming through big time strong. I mean, the star card is showing up now a second time. I told you, but as I, I'll say it coming out three times, because remember Sagittarius, I was talking about it with the stork. I could see it with the stork here. So healing, listen, hope gifts from the great spirit. I told you, you guys are going to receive a special delivery. Pay attention to these synchronistic things that are happening, but don't get too focused on it that you guys, um, you know, do anything like hiccups or second guess yourself. Just kind of go with the flow here. Okay. I feel for a lot of you guys, there may be a person, this, this tower moment might be a person showing up on your path that might just give you an electric shock here. Okay. Either way, you guys are going to receive what you guys need. And this is really part of your destiny. I mean, you've got the star card again. I just know that you, a lot of you Sagittarius are bringers of love and light to the world. And you need to hear this and you need to just continue your path. There's nothing that you guys are not going to be, is there's nothing you will be denied of. As long as you guys are doing the things that you're feeling, um, you know, is the right thing for you. And that's, you know, or you're not hurting or doing damage to others, right? Because I know you guys aren't. You guys are definitely 
um, have been challenged when it came to love. You've been challenged when it came to your purpose. You've been challenged by people. You've been challenged by your confidence. But you got to trust that you guys really have come through a, a significant amount of transformation. And now it's time for you guys to really stay hopeful and be in the, the, uh, the, the receiving end of something here. Okay? Yeah. It's beautiful here. What else? There also may be a gift of not only uh, people, a person, love, but money. Expansion in your work, expansion in your wealth, expansion in, you know, whatever you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah. See, we're I just we're talking about this. Um, a lot of you guys, yes, profound transformation, facing your demons, quick wit. This is the thing. This is what I see you guys doing. Be in your power here with this fox energy to line. You know, this is all about destiny. You guys need to really follow your instincts, your intuition about a thing, about things. Uh, make sure that you guys um, get clear about stuff make decisions not based on your emotions i see a lot of you guys coming into your power okay and really cutting out a certain energy or a certain person or people or things that really cause you to question yourself <laughs> because there's something out of integrity with the energies that you guys are feeling guided to kind of walk away from okay some of you guys just need to hear that but i do see you guys eliminating things that put you out of your track okay you're going towards a higher calling and a higher purpose and something that is um, going to be very fulfilling for you when it comes to matters of the heart you guys are definitely on the path of meeting soul family soul group and a soulmate what else some of you um, have already walked away from old people and situations And you did the right thing. It's amazing what happens when you get rid of energies and situations that dim your light because all of a sudden you find your power, you find your, um, your gifts as not, um, you know, what I want to say, like sometimes people see their special gifts or their psychic abilities as a curse and not a blessing, but you guys are actually starting to see or will come to see that it is a beautiful blessing. You're going to love everything. So I told you, I told you, this is no joke. I told you, you have this guardian angel. She's showing up as a queen of cups, whether it's a, it doesn't matter. Guardian angels, they're, they don't really have sex, but doesn't, some of you guys might actually have a motherly guardian though um, that maybe have passed on could be a grandmother an ancestor listen I am not kidding you guys <laughs> trust all unfolds in perfect timing you are one with the divine will and focus only on love so you guys got that message quite a bit because queen of cups king of cups queen of cups okay and there was something also about focusing on love So listen to this. If you guys focus only on love, here's a star card coming into play. Focus on, only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient because I, your guardian angel, am watching over you. Mm -hmm. The forces of love are at work. Your guardian angel is really coming through big time, big time here helping you guys really establish healthy boundaries for your physical well-being and also to come into a, a, um, a situation where you guys are giving and taking at a very um, equal level here. But it's going to be a very new experience for a lot of you guys. So gratitude, you know, thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped. Oh my goodness, in some way. So, you know, I was getting this message too that, um, wow, this one stuck to me. Um, that you guys were, you know, joy bringers to people. And so I do feel that you guys, spirit really appreciates your efforts. And so there is also a, an energy of possibly someone thinking about you um, and definitely spirit that's coming through about you guys helping uh, someone who needed help. Okay. 
And again, your guardian angel is coming through letting you know, I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. See, I told you, you guys are earth angels. I already picked it up big time, and it's just more confirmation that you guys are earth angels. This is why you guys are showing up as a queen of cups three times here. And it's hard for the, you know, it's hard for you to, sometimes it's hard to be the queen of swords, but it is very profound and it is very transformative and it is very powerful. So don't be afraid to kind of uh, push, you know, uh, emotions that don't fill your heart with good emotions anymore and just cut that shit out because you guys are making some kind of miracle happen for yourself and your guardian angel is bringing you guys what you deserve because you've been working so hard you know see spirit and oh my god god angels jesus you know your higher self whatever you got the universe is absolutely saying thank you thank you thank you sagittarius you guys really are doing something you are eternally blessed okay eternally blessed okay may peace and grace and love forever guide you along your sacred path you guys don't doubt your sacred path this is why I pay attention to good luck that's coming on your path okay this card was sticking to me, <laughs> the hermit. See, I was getting something here with you guys for some of you guys withdrawing from situations that drain you. Withdraw from situations or people that are draining that try to dim your light because your light is speaking to you. It is telling you exactly what your purpose is, what you're, what you're meant to do, what, you're meant, what answers are meant to come to you. Virgo energy is coming through here. So a lot of you guys are going to have a sense of relief and um some of you and this is the thing there was something about that sacred um yeah your sacred path here's your sacred path see the path so don't allow any others to dim your light you're not meant to have your light dimmed or situations dim your light what else for uh, sagittarius Okay, we had a card flip over. Adventure. <laughs> here's that eight of wands. Yeah. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, here we go, com coming in as Queen of Swords energy. Oops, there it is. Okay. S don't see this situation as an obstacle. Try seeing it as an adventure and explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine. So instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between because you guys get to. This is that hermit energy. You guys get to explore what you guys want to, okay? So I'm seeing you guys getting and fulfilling um, answers that you guys have uh, about your, um, your quest, your path, your love life. You will receive these answers, but be willing to go on a venture. Be the queen of wands and step out and boldly go after things, not worrying about waiting for things or what's going to happen just do what you want to do that's what the queen of wands does this is this is why she cannot be um controlled she's she is controlling herself but uh, you know does i don't want to make it sound like she's bad but you know because there's always um a good thing with being controlling as well but you know this is the thing she wants to go out and explore and do things because she's very that's her fire that's that fire energy doesn't mean she going, she's going to go out and do bad things, but she's she's ready to explore something within herself because she's, you guys have, he or she, you guys really have come into a sense of great transformation and it's time for you guys to um, radiate and move away and step away from things, behaviors, people, or situations that really dim your light, okay? What else? Yep. Just talking about your transformation and now the death card came out. Scorpio energy is coming through here. Okay, look at this, you guys. Wow. Destruction. Here's Tower. And it says destruction on the death card and renewal and real truths. You guys are going to have also some type of real truth and clarity in a situation. Maybe an aid or help when it comes to anything with legal matters for those um, having to deal with legal, legal stuff or just, you know, uh, decisions. Um, but you guys, 
look at this profound transformation it says here on the Queen of Swords and we've got the death card so don't doubt this I mean look at this tower any type of ending or any type of um, real truth that you know happened to trigger transformation really is to bring real truths out and to bring a massive transformation um, for you that is very profound um, and don't second guess that you guys aren't going to receive a miracle from it. What else for Sagittarius? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Sagittarius? How is spirit helping Sagittarius? Now, some of you guys, too, I'm hearing as well, you, some of you guys, if you've been in hermit mode, um, I see you guys actually stepping out and, and moving, um, yeah, and going on in this adventure here, okay? Some of you guys just need to withdraw your energy from certain energies so you're opened up to this new adventure and movement. How spirit is helping Sagittarius. nice cancer energy is showing up here um yeah oh yes the chariot some of you guys might get money for a car or a vehicle or some type of uh recreational thing for some of you guys i'm just hearing that but yeah you guys are how spirits helping you guys is moving in the right direction okay r i g h t the right direction so if that means a change of direction it's the right direction spirit is helping you guys victoriously move um, and get movement and I was really getting this so spirits giving you guys spiritual acceleration um, the willpower and the drive to uh, blast through any type of fears or obstacles um, and for some of you guys too I see a big thing about public recognition public acclaim um, and some type of fame here so I see you guys really navigating your polar opposites, mastering this, your shadow self, whatever it is, and really aligning things and going after what you guys deserve and having victory here. This is how spirit is helping you guys moving into the right direction, okay? Um, and there could be definitely something with travels and fast movement here. So um, something's gonna happen and it's gonna happen fast. Um, you need to be like, you know, quick, quick, like a fox, okay? Be adaptable um, and trust yourself, okay? I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.